We are still following breaking news out of Tarpon Springs right now where a known sinkhole is growing on Mango Street right next to a mobile home park. When I say known sinkhole, apparently crews have worked on this hole in the past and now it has grown to at least 60 feet wide. 60 feet wide, incredibly deep as well. We don't have an exact measurement on the depth, uh, but we do know it's deep. Action Air 1 has been on the scene all morning. Here's some ground shots as well. You can get a look at just how massive this hole is. And just to give you an idea how quickly this is all developing at one point that white fence you see there stretched uh, across this depression across the sinkhole and then not minutes later we looked and uh, that huge chunk of the fence was missing our Carson Chambers too has incredible access she's right up there uh, as close as you could possibly be while remaining safe to this um, sinkhole. I've been following her tweets and the images are incredible. At one point too, Laura, we have seen the ground actually moving. You can see the movement, see just how unstable the ground is. And our Eric Waxler on the scene right now just tweeting out that officials say water was shooting up in the air as the sinkhole opened up after the pipes broke earlier this morning. ABC Action News reporter Carson Chambers on the ground right now with more Carson. Well, hey guys, we actually uh, found some pretty nice neighbors who uh, have put up two ladders for us so we can see over the fence here into the other uh, mobile home park. Look at the water inside this uh, sinkhole. Oh, and the sides keep caving in. Are you watching this? The sides keep caving in. This thing is definitely not stable. You can see that with your own eyes. Um, and we don't know how deep it is because there's water in it, okay? So this is a typical, uh, a typical sinkhole formation uh, that opens up into the limestone where you have that water and it's just no telling how far down it goes. Although it does look to be an estimated around, I think some officials told us 60 feet wide would be fair. Now it did take out the fence here. And we are told by neighbors that there were workers who were over here. They were trying to repair either a broken water main, uh, something that happened in the past, another sinkhole perhaps. Uh, and that is when this whole thing caved in. Uh, we want to thank these guys actually who are who are literally holding ladders for us. We appreciate it, guys. This is what's giving us this incredible view over the fence here. Look how close the sinkhole is to these mobile homes. I mean, within steps, uh, these folks all evacuated in Tarpon Shores mobile home. Uh, you can see why. Uh, you can see the, uh, the crime scene tape, the yellow tape that is up around all of these mobile homes. This is a very large park. When I looked at it on Google Maps, it appeared to be several hundred homes. Uh, what you are looking at here is Tarpon Street. Uh, this, uh, uh, sorry, Mango Street. This goes out to US 19 and both uh, ways here are blocked off, okay? So down this way is where we came from. Uh, this is the, the northwest corner, guys. This is this way. Okay, the northwest corner uh, is up this way and you can see road crews trying to figure out what, uh, how to handle this, what to do, but it looks very, very unstable at this point, filled with water. The sides keep caving in. Uh, we've got Action Air 1 above it should anything happen, but we're just gonna keep an eye on this, guys, until uh, till we get some sort of news on how they're going to handle this. Back to you from Tarpon Springs. And Carson, to watch the ground crumble right before your eyes, it's just incredible. Uh, quick question for you. What are you seeing by way of evacuations? We know at least 20 people have been evacuated from surrounding mobile homes, but uh, are you learning anything else out there uh, as the ground is increasingly unstable? Are there more evacuations coming? It's possible. I mean, I, I definitely would not say that's impossible because at this point, this thing is still moving out here. It's definitely getting bigger. Uh, it keeps caving in. As far as evacuations, you can definitely tell. And I have not actually stepped foot over across the road because I can't because of all the, uh, the construction workers and cones and the safety. But you can tell these homes are empty. I mean, there's crime scene tape up uh, around all of them. So these folks are not at home. As far as uh, further uh, this way, uh, we don't know. We don't know if those people have been evacuated. Uh, as soon as we hear more from city officials, uh, we will bring that to you. Carson, thank you so much. So what you're watching right now, live pictures uh, out of Tarpon Springs. Take a look at that. This sinkhole at least...
60 feet wide. This video taken just moments ago. You see crews out there working on it right now. Apparently, this was a known sinkhole to that area. Uh, crews were out there earlier this morning. Neighbors tell us about 930 water started shooting out of this hole, and then it continued to grow. Still waiting on engineers to get on scene. And just in the last three, four minutes we've been on air here, the big uh, takeaways, the big updates, the big breaking updates you need to know about uh, from our crews on the ground, from our Carson Chambers. You just heard her say, this thing is still moving. It's still growing. We were seeing parts of the earth cave in uh, right there in Carson's live shot. The other big update from uh, another one of our crews, Eric Waxler on the ground there. This is a known sinkhole, like Eric said. Uh, Eric relayed to us that this is a known sinkhole. Apparently there was some work, uh, there was some checking being done on this hole when it uh, reopened up and it just has continued to grow ever since, Laura. And I want you to take a look at your screen right now. You see right there, kind of to the right in the middle of your screen, see how it looks like the road is cracked there? One of our reporters out on the scene, Corey Deardorff, tweeting out a picture closer to that area. And yeah, in fact, Mango Street is cracked. So there's no telling, Ashley, how far this thing is going to go before engineers are actually able to stop it from growing. Yeah, and if there's a piece of good news, again, as you're watching these images right here and you were seeing the ground just crumble in right there, uh, the good news here, no one has been hurt. Uh, there are no injuries. Uh, they seem to have these evacuations under control. People are being evacuated to a nearby community center. We do have a crew headed there right now to check on those folks. Uh, we have crews at the command post. Our chopper has been up in the air all morning. Uh, again, this thing is still moving. Yikes, still look at growing. that. It looks like it's a, just a mud river in there. My goodness. Also, a little bit earlier, we actually spoke with one of the neighbors who says it's been raining constantly in that area for the last couple of days. I mean, look at the water there, though. I, I wonder how soft that ground was right when everything started to cave in. My goodness. In, in addition to what you're seeing, uh, you're seeing the unstable ground, you're seeing the water, you're seeing this thing just continue to be increasingly unstable. Neighbors have been telling us it smells really bad out there. They say the stench right. is horrendous because at one point uh, they believe there was uh, sewage kind right, of spewing right. out from this hole. Uh, when we first started to track this, again, neighbors say the stench is terrible. My goodness, and it, what's been interesting, Ashley, is just to watch this thing. We were just talking about it in the newsroom, to watch this thing grow since just 9.30 this morning. I mean, it's only 11.30 right now. It, I mean, I wouldn't say it was a small hole, but it definitely wasn't what you see right there. And it's being called a sinkhole at this, at this point, a known problem. There's police tape all around that area, and as Ashley was telling you, at least 20 people evacuated at this time, many of them senior citizens trying to figure out exactly what's going on right behind their home. You can imagine, Ashley, if that thing just grows a few more feet, there are those mobile homes right there. Yeah, I mean, they're right up against the sinkhole. I mean, a stone's throw. Uh, just to recap, in case you're just joining us, we have been tracking this thing uh, all morning long for you. Uh, here are the specs. Here's what we know. Uh, this sinkhole is at least 60 feet wide. It's deep. We don't know how deep, uh, in part because look at it. It's filled with water. It, it's still growing. Uh, no one has been hurt. This is a known sinkhole. This is something that people in the area, crews were aware of. Apparently there was some kind of work being done to it when it just started to grow and, uh, and reopen up. At least 20 people have been evacuated from those nearby mobile homes you're looking at there. As we just heard from Carson, there could be more evacuations. Uh, the ground is unstable. It keeps growing. There are cracks in the roads uh, nearby as this is developing. Uh, our crews are everywhere, too, tweeting photos and having incredible access. They're really up close to show us what's going on. Okay, so there goes the road. You see, this was not happening just about 30 minutes ago. The road did not look like that, so it's starting to continue to crack. Uh, and we just heard from Carson Chambers, who is on the ground right now. She says she cannot smell anything, so you, you just wonder what exactly is this water? What was the situation? And I want you to look kind of to the right of your screen there. That's a power pole. There are power poles up and down that street. So the problem now becomes how dangerous that will be if one of those falls. Uh, have they cut the power to the area? We're still trying to figure that part out right now. Again, you see those crews that were there earlier have now moved away. And I wonder, Ashley, is that because they're worried they don't know how this thing is going to, how it's going to react? Again, you see it in the road now. It's definitely swallowing up portions of the road. Sure, and I want you to know as we're bringing you all this coverage, we're bringing you these images from the street level, from up high, our crews are staying really safe out there too. Uh, our Corey Deerdorf uh, is telling us he was allowed up close to get some of the images we've been showing you as this hole's been growing, uh, but then Laura, the crews pulled him back 
for obvious reasons, this ground is unstable, this hole is growing, uh, so our crews, as they're out there, they're staying really safe too. What's interesting is one of the neighbors we spoke with a little bit earlier, she says that she lives right in that area. A couple of her friends had to be evacuated. She was telling us she didn't know about any sinkholes in the area, but apparently this thing is being called a known problem, a known sinkhole. And look, now the crack has grown all the way down the street. I mean, I can't really tell how far that is. I know Carson Chambers, one of our reporters, is out there right now. Maybe we can go back out to her because Carson, from what where you're standing, does it sound like anything? Does it look like the road continues to break apart? Well, we could definitely hear it, Laura. We could hear it when uh, the sides uh, sort of cave in and then plop into that water into the middle there. Yeah, it's making quite a bit of noise. And then also, I don't know if you could hear it, but when uh, the fence started, oh, there it goes again. When the fence started to uh, see, we're seeing a little bit more erosion underneath the fence there. And you could hear the fence sort of crack and pop because obviously uh, the ground is giving underway uh, uh, underneath that fence. Now, I cannot smell anything, guys. I know you mentioned uh, uh, we weren't sure if this was uh, connected to a sewer. I, I don't smell anything uh, that's out of the ordinary, but Laura, you pointed out something really uh, smart there. Uh, th those power poles, look how close they are. And then you've got uh, some more electrical uh, boxes right next to the very, very edge of the sinkhole so you sort of wonder what they're going how they're going to handle that if they've cut power um, also in the last couple of minutes uh, we've seen a couple of firefighters tarpon springs uh, presumed firefighters come to the door of this mobile home just to the left of this fence and knock on the door no one came to the door at that home so it does look uh, appeared as if tarpon springs fire rescue going around and still knocking on doors, possibly making more evacuations or just checking on people uh, to make sure that they are out of these homes uh, as a definite because look how close they are. Um, but Laura, Ashley, you can you can hear it every time something caves in here. You can hear uh, the ground, the clay sort of plop into the water and uh, the fence crack and pop as the ground uh, gives gives out underneath this uh, this plastic PVC pens, uh, fence, which we are actually standing next to another one on a couple of ladders, thanks to uh, a couple of neighbors who were kind enough uh, to let us in here and, and to give us uh, this rare access over our shoulder here. Back to you guys. Yeah, and Carson, any concern on your end? I mean, you are really close. Uh, your vantage point, you're, you're giving us the best view of what's going on there. Uh, are any of the crews kind of near you, keeping an eye on you, asking you to move back, or are you safe right where you're standing? Okay, well, let, let's let me give you a look. Um, I mean, we don't know, but we're assuming we're safe because this has not been evacuated in here. Okay, we trust first responders and they have a good idea, a better idea of what's going on out here. All we're doing right now is sort of uh, looking and, and, and guessing, you know, uh, about how big this is. So we do not know exact uh, figures, um, but look at this. This is a, a bulldozer who just pulled up on the roadway here. So we're feeling pretty safe because they've got some heavy equipment just uh, beside us on the roadway here. Now the road is cracked. You can see way back there, um, you know, steps away from where we are. The road is cracking right in the middle, and and actually, a couple it looks like a couple of more cracks have sort of developed there on uh, on the roadway there. That this is Mango Street that cuts through to US 19. Okay, but we do have this heavy equipment here, so we are pretty. Uh, we we feel pretty okay about where we are. Back to you. Carson, one more question for you, because from what we see, we can see that there's a road there, but we're not sure what's uh, to the front of you or behind you. But I'm looking at a map here. Does that road, it doesn't dead end. So are there people on one side of that road that might not be able to leave if this road completely goes away? Uh, behind us, this road uh, is shut down, okay, that goes out to US 19 North. This road here, the, uh, the, the through street here, it also goes out to another through road, which is what we came in on. So people people are not trapped. They could get out if they needed to. Um, and we do have uh, quite a few um, crews out here, construction crews, and also uh, a police officer just standing watch here, uh, making sure people have the direction that they need. So uh, things are secure, they aren't left letting people in, uh, but they certainly uh, would be letting people out if they needed to get out of here.
All right, Carson Chambers reporting live for us, giving the live uh, right now view of what is going on here in Tarpon Springs as we've been tracking this massive sinkhole uh, that has forced evacuations in the area. These nearby mobile homes are evacuated right now. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of struck, Laura, about how the senses are working overload right now. I mean, Carson's describing hearing the cracking of the road. We are seeing these incredible images. The hole keeps growing, the ground caving in, uh, the smell we're hearing from neighbors. At one point this morning, they said they could smell what they thought was raw sewage, although Carson's not smelling that right now. So we're hearing it, we're seeing it. At times people are smelling as this is unfolding. Right, and the Tarpon Springs uh, Fire Rescue, they have just put out a Facebook message saying that city crews are currently assessing the situation and that's what it's, they're calling it. But Ashley, what I find interesting is I don't see any crews left. You know, at, at one point when this first started around 10, 1030 when we went live on the air, there were people standing all around that hole. Now I'm wondering if they're thinking now, this thing is growing and it's growing pretty fast. I mean, we've been on the air probably for about, I'd say two hours now, and this thing has grown significantly. I mean, you could, there was definitely a complete fence there sure. when we went on the air at what, 10 o'clock? And now here it is a, just a little bit after 1130. And actually, I mean, the road is now falling in. Sure, you have to consider too, how close can the crews get at this point? I mean, it's exactly. happening right now. You see the hole is filled with water. You have seen the ground, uh, the edges of that hole crumbling in right there during our live shot. So uh, you have to wonder how close can they really get to this at this point and, and do it in a safe way. I want to go back uh, and show you the view from up high because some of the best images we have seen of uh, this whole event wow. as it's unfolding is from Action Air One. Uh, up there and you could see some people I presume these are crews there right. uh, you know just a couple feet from the hole so they are out there they are checking on it but they are keeping what appears to be a safe distance as the ground is so unstable and with that I, I know you see there at the bottom of your screen it says 30 to 40 foot wide depression but we do know now that it is a sinkhole and crews are telling us it is at least 60 feet wide I mean Tarpon Springs Fire Rescue putting that on their Facebook page just about 40 minutes ago so uh, we'll continue to follow this. This is again on Mango Street in Tarpon Springs. So as soon as we get a little bit more information, of course, as we always do, we'll bring it to you. Of course, we're going to send you back to program programming now. And like Laura said, we'll bring you updates as they come in.